Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm up at the shop and checking on the system up here, which I haven't really been keeping a super close eye on for the past several days. And I noticed some kind of strange values jumping through there today that I want to take a look at and show you guys. So up here in the shop, I've showed you guys this system before. There's 400 watts of solar coming in. This is a 12 volt system. And you can see I've got the Victron 130 MPPT, 800 watt, 12 volt pure sine wave inverter. And I've gone over all the other things that we've got. We've got this shunt there and we've got the dongle there. And we've been running this Voltgo. 12.8 uh, volt 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery for the last several weeks and it was uh, Last couple days. I've just noticed like the values on this uh, are kind of jumping around a little bit more than I've ever seen on any system that's just running 24 7 it's been running up here. Everything's doing fine, but I'll show you what the values are doing under some different conditions so currently it is in the absorption phase and only 20 watts are coming in off that 400 watt array to hold it as you can see right at 14.2 which is exactly where it should be and the only load i'm drawing off of that right now is uh, that light right there it's only drawing a few watts and just looking back at the past six days, you can see I've got into full uh, absorption and even into float on all of the days. And today, definitely right here, heading into that same exact kind of thing. Everything's doing fine. I look at the max voltage and you can see today I caught a 14.76 volt spike. And then on the previous days, 14.4, 14.4, 14.4, and 14.3 a couple of times. So that's a little unusual, typically. Uh, it just goes right to 14.2. So I've been up here playing around with a couple of things and seeing why that is happening. And the other thing is if I click on every one of these days, the absorption is set for uh, two hours, and every day it's going to about three hours and some odd minutes, three hours and nine minutes, three hours and seven minutes, three hours and seven minutes. So that's a little out of the norm as well. And so for the past few minutes, I've been up here, uh, even before I turn the light on, uh, you know, the, the voltage was, you know, jumping up 14.6 a little bit. It wasn't quite catching that on you know, the history for, you know, the highest voltage, although there is a 14.76 that caught at one point today. So I'll see if I can't kind of duplicate uh, what was going on here. I'm going to turn that light off. And with the light off, it's, uh, of course, dropped the wattage required to hold it at 14.2 down, you know, from 20 to 12. And the inverter is still on and it's holding it rock steady at 14.2 and now this is exactly how i would expect it to behave uh, but it wasn't for the past many minutes i was watching it so now i'm just going to reach over and turn the inverter off and as soon as i turned it off you can see you know it jumped right up real quick to 15 something and then right now, zero watts to hold it at 14.2, which I would, that should be about right. And it should just start winding, you know, through the absorption period and winding down. But zero watts now required to hold that. And let's turn the inverter right back on. And it's on again, and you can see it's opened up the panels just enough to keep that inverter running. And it's holding 14.2. No problems. Just right. Bouncing around a little bit, but not, not bad. One, pretty much 14.2. Now, the only thing that was different was 
I had this uh, Ryobi battery charger plugged in. It wasn't on, but it was actually plugged in back there. And, uh, and then when I unplugged that, it seemed to settle down. But when it was plugged in, not even running anything, that's when I started getting a little of those values jumping around. So I'm going to plug that back in. And I just plugged it in, and you can see we are getting, you know, an indicator light that it is on. Let's take a peek at the, how that voltage is doing now. And now, see, now it's doing the same thing. It's, it's jumping around a little bit, you know, down to 13-something, oh, 14.8, right? So this was what was causing me to see all of this fluctuation. And you can see it right there in, in real time. I mean, it's still only taking 12 watts to try to hold it at 14.2. But for whatever reason, that charger just being plugged in, uh, not charging a battery, mind you, just being plugged in. And I had just inadvertently left it like that the past couple of days. But look at that, how it jumps around. You know, it's not changing what the, the panels need to to uh, hold it at 14.2, but it's bouncing, you know, a little wildly on both sides of 14.2, right? I mean, you can see those values, 14.5. It's going so fast, it's hard for me to, to name it off as it's happening, but you can see that happening right there. 14.8, <laughs> I just barely saw that. It's quick, right? And I've never really seen that before when I'm running any load on any of my systems. And, you know, this isn't really much of a load, right? I mean, there's nothing charging. It's just ready to be. And it had been like this for days. Uh, usually when I'm done charging a battery, of course, I unplug it, but I had forgot to do that. And I think that it's that that is screwing up, you know, making the absorption time go an extra hour for the past week, basically. And that's what gives me a little of that kind of, you know, a little bit higher spike than 14.2. Typically, uh, on all my other systems, it just goes to 14.2, even when I'm running loads. So for some reason, uh, this little thing right here is kind of making the change. So let's go back to the live and see, you know, there it is. You know, you can see it's just kind of bouncing all over the place. Interesting. Okay, so let me unplug that again. Okay, just unplugged it. As you can see, it's not plugged in back there now, and the light went off. And 14.2, rock steady. 12 watts to hold it there, and the inverter is on. It took me a minute to figure out whether it was just the inverter being on, but I've never seen that because all my inverters are on 24-7, and whenever I get into an absorption uh, phase. Everything just holds at 14.2. The panels open up if a load kicks on, you know, if my refrigerator kicks on or whatever, you know, it opens up the panels to accommodate that and just hold it at your target voltage. And see right now it's doing it absolutely perfectly. So that was interesting to me that just this thing being plugged in, uh, it was having a hard time you know, figuring out where 14.2 was. And, okay, so let's do one more thing. I'll reach around while I've got this camera here, and I think I can just reach the light. I'm going to turn this light on, which only draws, you know, five or six watts. It's one of those LEDs. There, I just kicked the light on. You can see it opened up the panels. You know, a few more watts just to hold it there. Rock steady at 14.2. Perfect. All right. Just like it should. And I'll go reach over again and click that light off and we'll see those panels drop down closer to 12 watts probably. But even with it on, it is allowing the extra wattage from the solar panels to come in and hold it at 14 too. So here go the lights. They are now off. Right back down to 12 watts is all it needs to, you know, keep it in the absorption at 14.2. So one more time, I'm gonna click the light on. And there it goes right back up to 20 some watts. And now I'm gonna reach over 
and plug in that battery charger from that Ryobi battery charger. And I'll plug that in. It's plugged in now. And see if with the light running and that, yeah, it's not really making that do anything different, holding it right there. But now I'll turn the light off and leave that battery charger hooked up. Light is off. And there we go. Right back to jumping all around 14.2, right? 13.8, 14.7. You know, I can see all of that. So, yeah, for whatever reason, uh, you know, you have a battery charger. Uh, don't leave it plugged in. Uh, I don't think it's hurting anything, but it, it definitely is affecting uh, everything in here. Because, you know, we want to just see it hold steady. So, turn the light right back on and watch it settle right down. 14.2. That, to me, is just super interesting. Okay, so it's unplugged now. But anyway, yeah, I had just had that plugged in, had forgotten that I had unplugged it. I had been mowing the grass or something, charging up one of those uh, batteries for the lawnmower and forgot to unplug it, which I normally do. But I thought you guys might find that interesting. And I'm pretty sure that that's what was keeping it, you know. So I'm going to leave it unplugged and see if today we've been in absorption now for a minute and 30 or an hour and 36 minutes. See if it'll click into float at two hours today. I'm pretty sure it will because, yeah, it has been... That battery charger has been plugged in all of those days and you can see now i've actually seen quick spikes on the the status the live feeds higher than what it shows in the history i mean just when i was showing you guys we did see like a 14.8 just ever so briefly and it did register a 14.76 but yeah but then you know right now 14.2 perfect <laughs> so yeah if you're not uh if you got things plugged into your system that you don't actually need to have plugged in such as that battery charger you know i'd recommend go ahead and unplug it it's not doing you any good plugged in and it does seem to kind of confuse the system a little bit which like i said i've never really seen that before usually uh any kind of an extra load i'm drawing uh, the solar panels and the charge controller all compensate for that and keep your target value uh, pretty much rock steady. All right, so lights off. <laughs> Back to normal. Come on. That's all for today. Come on, buddy. Come on out. Come on. All right, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Come on, we gotta go. <laughs> Finally, had to beg you. Okay, let's go eat some lunch. And why didn't you come up there with us? Aloha. <laughs>